All right, so I've been melting down some copper ingots today from all this wire and stuff, but I was also making some uh, silver, which I have over here. And I've pretty much, I've ran it through filters multiple times and now it's ready to just burn off the rest of that. And it'll leave me with some silver uh, precipitate that I can pour into some bars and stuff a little later. But if you want to get uh, copper back out of it, I went and got some steel in case you didn't know this, but when you dissolve your silver and, and copper and stuff in solution, you put copper in there. And I just used copper wire since I have so much of it laying around. But you put the copper wire in there and it precipitates the silver out. And then if you want to get the copper out, you just put steel in there. And the process is the same. It changes ions with the steel in order to precipitate out um, copper. So this process will give you three nines fine silver as well as three nines fine uh, copper. This is just aluminum here uh, from another day I was melting that down. But as you can see, here's the steel. It was a rod I got for about two bucks, cut it in half and put both pieces in here. And it was all this color. But as you can see, that copper color is coming in and the further down you go, I mean, that gets real nice as far as copper, real shiny. And uh, that's just the reaction of the steel with this uh, waste solution. I don't call it waste because copper is going high now and people are paying uh, one to $2 an ounce if you pour it into a bullion piece. So that's why I'm extracting it. And uh, if you didn't know that you can recover your copper just by putting steel into the waste waste solution, uh, now you know.